If I could write you a song to make you fall in love. Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how to change your icons. Um, like on your dock or just like in your applications folder. Or like where it pops up in the applications little thing on your dock. Um, it changes them all at like the same time. So, um, unless you already made one on your computer and it's in a .icns format. Um, then you're going to want to go to iconfinder.com I'll link down there also if you went and made your icon but you don't know how to save it in an and .icns form then I'll have a link to the um, program down here I believe it's free um, but it's called image to icons or actually like img to icns but it's just image to icons what you do is drag and drop your PNG file, make sure it's like the right size, and um, which I think is like 57 by 57. Drag and drop here, and then you can um, export it in ICS format. But most of you just want to go to iconfinder.com, and um, so to search for an application, like um, let's go with Safari, which isn't in my dock, but. You just go to search for it, and it'll show up with the Julian icons of Safari. And um, there's a couple pages of these, but um, usually there's about two pages for most of the popular apps. And so I'm, I kind of like this one. No, this one. And then um, if you, this is for Mac only, by the way, but if you have Windows, you can download it as an ICO format right here. But um, if you have Mac, just download it as a PNG, and then you're going to use this program. So you're going to need to actually have this program, and it will be in the description to download. So you can exit out of your internet browser, and now um, open up Image to Icons, drag and drop your image in there that you downloaded. You can export it as an ICNS. But then um, make sure you go to your preferences for this app and choose where you want it to export. But um, actually, just remember this app is not free, but you can probably Google it or YouTube or some other way to find out um, how to get it free. So I'm just going to go ahead and name this one Safari. And now you're going to go to your Finder. I mean, um, Finder, just go to your Finder and click on the Applications. Um, little thing on the side and then find the app you're wanting to change your Safari then right click on the app and go to show package contents then click on content and resources now anywhere in this folder could have any name but you're just going to look through all these little previews of what it looks like until you see the Safari icon right here and make sure it's a dot .icns format it could be named like app icon or icon or app name but in this case it's named compass and then so to back this up you're just going to rename it to like you know uh, it doesn't give me permission but um either just rename it to like you know compass one or something but I don't know why it's not letting me rename it since I don't have the permissions since it's like a default um, app I don't know but I've changed it with like Google Chrome and all these different apps but whatever you can just like set up a backup folder somewhere in case you ever want to change it back because there's no like button for it and so I can just move this in there and drag my new icon onto here but make sure it is the same name drag and drop it in there authenticate it and replace usually you don't have to authenticate it and replace it unless it's like a default app like um, Safari and then now you can exit out of all this crap and um, go to your applications, or if it's, in your, if it's in your dock, just like log in, log back out. It should have changed. Yeah, it did. Under here, in my applications, it changed. You just probably have to like relaunch your dock or log back in and log back out for it to change them right here. Actually, you just have to open it. Well, it still isn't popping up right there, but it's in my dock. Um, but it, it does work because I've done it with all these ones. So the next episode of the video, please comment, rate, subscribe, and